An incomplete part can result from improper setup of the injection molding cycle. This defect is called short shot. Short shot is usually caused by incorrect pressure, time settings, or shot size. You should first check the injection time and shot size. The machine should go from the fill stage to the packing stage only after the cavity is completely filled. To eliminate short shot, make sure that the pressure during filling is sufficient to force the material into the cavity. The injection time is inadequate if the injection timer runs out before the cavity is filled. If the injection time is insufficient, this means the injection ram is reaching the transfer position too early. This can be corrected by increasing the shot size or by decreasing the transfer position. If the packing pressure or time is insufficient, not enough material will enter the cavity, resulting in a short shot. Low packing pressure and time can also cause shrinkage. To solve short shot, an increase in injection speed may be necessary. Increasing the injection speed decreases the amount of cooling during injection, allowing the melt to flow through the cavity before the melt freezes. You can also increase the melt temperature. Increasing the melt temperature lowers the viscosity of the material, making the part easier to fill. Keep in mind that temperature increases should be done in small increments, such as 5 degrees, and only as a last resort. To eliminate short shot, the gate design may need to be changed. Enlarging the gate increases the amount of material which can enter the cavity. A change in the material grade may be necessary. A material with a high melt flow index flows easier through the part. If you change the material, make sure the new material meets the requirements of your application.